Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, is in the name. Rakhaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men <clears throat> that's laboring in his truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude. Men women uh Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and a sincerity shalom. And this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And uh title of the video, Lord Willem, is going to be, Thou Hast Forsaken Wisdom. Okay, because <clears throat> that's really what two-thirds of our people have has done. They have forsaken wisdom. They have forsaken the Lord, you know, and they're going, they're going about, you know, how to, how to operate in this life, you know, without the Lord. Okay, they're trying to operate on their own accord, man. Okay, and that's going to lead to your destruction. Okay, because we have to follow, you know, we have to follow after the Lord, man. We have to, we have to follow the commandments to live, man. If you're not following the commandments, then, then, you know, you're going to die. Okay, because uh, once you leave. Once you leave off living off the commandments, man, then you, then that's how you enter into uh, that's death. The wages of sin is death. Okay, the law was put in place for us to keep the law, and all right, if we don't keep the law, okay, then then you're 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 sinning. Okay, you're going off, and that's going to lead to to your destruction. Romans six and uh, twenty three, for the wages of sin is death. <clears throat> okay. And let me start at the book of Baruch, chapter 3. And I'm going to start at the top. Baruch, chapter 3, verse 1. It reads, O Lord Almighty, God of Israel, the soul in anguish, the troubled spirit crieth unto me. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful, and have pity upon us, because we have sinned before thee. For thou endurest forever, and we perish utterly. O Lord, Yahweh, uh, it's like it says, O Lord Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear now the prayers of of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee and not hearken unto the voice of thee unto the voice of thee their God for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us you know so by us not keeping these laws as and commandments you know as it says in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter okay therefore all these plagues came upon us man okay and <clears throat> these curses and they've overtaken us, okay? Because that main curse was us going into slavery. Us going back to Egypt on, on, on ships, okay? And that happened, okay? We, we was led to Egypt, all right? Egypt meaning what? All right, the house of bondage, representing bondage. It says, <clears throat> remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, <laughs> But think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. So we're asking the Lord for forgiveness. Okay, things that we do now. All right, and we're asking for forgiveness of the things that we've done in our past life. It says, remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord our God. And thee, O Lord, will we praise. And for this cause thou hast put 
thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we shall call upon thy name. You see? So you got these other bug out camps, man. Okay. You know, the Lord said uh, that his fear uh, says, and for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts and our mind. You know, so the elect where we're fearing the Lord and we're calling upon his name. It says to the intent that we should call upon thy name. And praise thee in our captivity, for we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Because we're learning about our forefathers, okay? Which is really us in the reincarnation when you we understand the scriptures, okay? So we're, we're we are uh, remembering our sins and, uh, and 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 seeking and seeking the Lord for forgiveness, okay? And trying to offend less. Okay, you got to be trying to offend less, man. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our foref of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. Okay, so behold, right, we are yet this day in our captivity. So we're, we're in captivity right now as we speak man okay because we're subject to payments you know even going back to Deuteronomy 28 uh, once again you know Deuteronomy 28 and uh, I believe it's uh, 48 let me just see okay, Deuteronomy 28 verse 48 it says therefore Shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay, so now we are completely just destroyed because. You know, we don't know who we don't we've we've discontinued from our heritage. Okay. So so we're serving our enemies. We're in a land of, we're in the land of our captivity. Okay. Uh, give me one second here. Let me go back to the book of Baruch. Baruch chapter 3 and verse I'm going to read 8 again it says behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all according uh, and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power it says, Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. See, this is the commandments of life, man. Okay, without keeping these commandments, man, you're, you're destined to die. It says, How happeneth, how happened, how happeneth it, Israel, that thou art in thy enemy's land? That thou art waxen old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. Okay, because we, because we uh, discontinue. I mean, because we uh, disobeyed the heavenly Father, man. That's why we're in the situation that we're in now, man. Because we've forsaken wisdom. Okay, these, these, uh, these precepts, these commandments is wisdom. It says thou art. It says that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. Thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. See? This everlasting, these uh, everlasting life, man. Okay, the fountain of uh, uh, the living waters, man. Okay? Here it is. The Lord has given us this fountain of water. All right, and it's like you—it's like you we in a—it's like you in a desert, okay. And the Lord is giving you uh, pure water to drink, 
but you're but you're refusing to drink that water, okay? And you're and you're going out there another way, okay? Just falling out to these uh, mirages that look like water, but it's really not, okay? That's how that's how our people are today. They're falling out there, you know, mirages, false things that look like it's water, but it's not. It's leading you to death. You're, you're forsaking the fountain of wisdom, which is ultimately these scriptures, man. It says, for if thou, if thou hadst walked in the way of the most high, thou shouldest have dwelled in peace forever. So the Lord created us to be internal, man. Immortality, man. Okay, but since we've forsaken the fountain of wisdom, now we got a taste of death. Now we got to be subject to our enemies. The fountain of wisdom. It says, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that thou mayest know also where is length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace. Who have found her, who have found out her place, or who have come into her treasures? You know, that's pretty good point, man. Okay. And Yahweh Shai, he was that greatest example of the man that, you know, quote unquote, found wisdom, man. Okay, it was ultimately given it to him by the Heavenly Father. Okay, but he's that example that we follow after, man. Okay, by us keeping these laws, and commandments to the best of our ability, that's how we obtain everlasting life, man. You know, yeah, people are, are, are sad, you know, when their family members die. Okay, going to funerals, crying. Okay, we wouldn't have funerals if we if we just keep these, if we were to keep the laws, statutes, commandments, man, from the get-go, man. Okay, but this is all a part of the Lord's movie. Okay, we was destined, you know, it was part of his plan, you know, to have us, you know, go off so we can go through these punishments, man. So let me go back here. Let me go to uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. And it says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Okay? You know, the Lord is the true fountain of wisdom, man. Okay? So you can't lean upon Christianity serving Jesus, man. Okay, you got to shake that demon. Okay, you can't lean upon, you know, zodiac signs. Or I'm going to do my own thing, own spirituality. Okay, you can't lean upon nothing else besides these scriptures, man. If you're not leaning upon the scriptures, then you're leaning upon your own understanding. It says, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and depart from evil, man. And you'll depart from evil if you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, we're in captivity. You know, we got to keep them, and we're in these fleshly bodies, okay? Chains of darkness, but we got to keep them to the best of our ability, man. You know, having wisdom meet you at every thought, man. The only way you're going to be doing that if you're reading. Okay, if you're studying and you're doing your uh you're doing your lessons, you're going out to the highways and byways, then the Lord is going to uh continue to increase your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay. It says, verse 8, it shall be health to thy navel and morrow to thy bones. Strength is gonna strengthen you, man. get uh proverbs 1 and 7 it says the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction see that's a lot of our people's problem they don't fear the lord okay it's the terror of the lord to, that we persuade men so you gotta have that fear instilled in you man if you don't fear you know, going off or you're going to be, you know, the Lord can judge you. Then 
then you're not operating in wisdom. It says that's the beginning of knowledge, man. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And we see fools, you know, every week, man, every day, despising his word, leaning upon their own way, thinking they got it. But you don't got it, man. If you don't have the Lord, you don't got shit, man. You're just like an empty vessel, man. Waiting to perish. Verse 8 says, My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. That's the point, man. Okay? To fear the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom, man. You want to reach that fountain of wisdom? Okay, you fear the Lord. That's 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 wisdom, man. That's intelligence. You know, when you say, nah, I ain't going to I ain't gonna mess with her, man. She got a wife. Uh, I mean, she got a husband. You know, the Lord said, don't commit adultery. Now, nah, let me leave her alone. That's operating in wisdom. But we say, nah, fuck that, man. But she, he ain't treating her right. Man, she want me. I'm, I'm going to get that. Then you're forsaking the fountain of wisdom. Okay, and that's going to lead you to perish. That's why, you, that's why you see niggas dying. Gang violence, man. A lot of it be, be over women. You know? And that's what this world promotes. Adultery. That's not wisdom. You having sex with another man's wife, that's not wisdom, man. You smoking a blunt. I'm going to smoke this blunt. This is this from the earth. Man. The Lord made this. Yeah, he made it, but he didn't make, make it for you to smoke. You know, you don't smoke cilantro. Okay, so that's not operating in wisdom. Operating is in wisdom is fearing the Lord. Before you do anything, uh, uh, it says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. So see, is it right in the eyes of the Lord? That's not forsaking wisdom, man. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is out of fire. I'm going to close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.